Assalamu alaikum dear students. How are you? I hope that all of you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am fine too. Welcome you all to NIVS Home School. This is Mohamed Rahman, Assistant Teacher of National Ideal English Version School. Today I am going to take a uh, physical education class for the students of class 8. Our today's topic is chapter 2, lesson 3 to 7. Okay, students, uh, look at the board at first. This is the class for the students of class 8, subject physical education, term half yearly, topic chapter 2, lesson 3 to 7. I repeat again, topic chapter 2, lesson 3 to 7. This is your lecture number 3 and you have no homework for this class. Teacher Mahmoud Rahman and mobile number 0735852285. Okay dear students, uh, let's begin. In the previous class, we uh discussed up to lesson one and two of chapter two today we will start from lesson three and uh, the name of this chapter is scouting girl guiding and bangladesh red christian society lesson three leadership human service in scouting and girl guiding human being wherever they live try to live together Society is built up in this way. Living in the society is the characteristics of a human being. He tries to do good to the society in which he lives. Society can be locality based or village based. Wherever he lives, everyone has the responsibility to beautify the environment of the society. For example, one pond is clean and another pond is full of water hyacinth. For not cleaning the water hyacinth of the dirty pond, there grows mosquitoes and mosquitoes are harmful to all. If with the help of the people, water hyacinth is cleaned from the pond, water is of that pond will be clean, fish will be cultivated properly and the growth of mosquitoes will be stopped too. Similarly, if the road to the market is broken due to rainwater or any other reason, with the help of the people, the broken roads have to be repaired and made it usable. In this way, by means of small scale development works in society, one can make himself prepared for wider service. There are many types of tasks for developing the society. This type of task is called welfare work. Rendering service is the main motto of scouting and girl guiding. This serving may be self-serving, welfare of society and human serving. Self-serving means to build oneself as a self-dependent man. The main aim of self-serving is to build himself properly and well established by labor, intelligence and own effort. For serving others or great enterprise, one has to be self-dependent. So, one has to make himself up in this way. So that scout and girl guide can sacrifice his or her life for the welfare of the general people. Every scout and girl guide thinks about family and society as a member of the society. So, he or she always tries to perform responsibilities to his or her mother, brother, father and sister. Besides, they engage themselves to serve the old, disabled, autistic children, sick and helpless people of the society. There are some welfare organizations serving in the society. Among them, Scout and Girl Guide are ideal organizations. They are always ready to grow loyalty sorry to show loyalty and respect to the creator honesty and truthfulness kindness to animals thought awareness and dutifulness main motto of scout and girl guide is always be prepared the students uh, this phrase is very important the main motto of scout and girl guide is be prepared that means those who participate in uh, girls guide and scout they are always uh, prepared they learn this lesson 
Each scout and girl guide will remain prepared always for good works and to help others. Shada Prastut Its English meaning is be prepared. It means for any purpose to perform courageously being determined with tolerance like friends and sacrifice for others. Every day to help one or other in the slogan is the slogan of scout and girl guide. In English, do a good turn daily. It is also a characteristic of a scout and girl guide. The slogan is a part of a scout and girl guide promise. So its importance is all the more. Every day in several ways this slogan may be fulfilled. There are some tasks that a person or individual can do for the welfare of the society or individuals. To write a letter of someone, to post the letter of somebody, to buy a stamp for someone, to market for a scout or guide, to search for lost things of somebody, to help a blind man to cross the road, to pick up bricks, stone, thorn, etc. from the road, to fill up the teak on the road, to help kids to cross the road, to bring water of ablution for devotees, to wash the floor of mosque, to show path to a passerby, to help someone searching a quarter, to stop quarreling, to carry a wounded person to hospital, to help uh, puring the dead body, to give first aid to anybody, to help somebody to ride on a car, to participate in relief activities at the time of flood, to participate in relief works for flood affected and firing area. The main slogan of Scout and Girl Guide is to serve the people in this way by doing works either small or large, leadership quality can be achieved. And when a person or a student engages himself or herself in these welfare activities, certainly he will become a good human being. The next lesson, lesson number four, history and origin of Red Crescent and Red Cross. A terrible war took place between Austria and France in Salferino of North Italy, 24 June in 1859. Only in these 16 hours of war, about 40,000 soldiers were wounded. Wounded soldiers were suffering from pains in deadly condition in the open battlefield for lack of treatment. At the time, a young man of Switzerland, Jean Henry Dunant, for business purpose was going to meet Napoleon III in France. He was shocked at the terrible sight in the battlefield and called the village people to serve and the affected people with the immediate primary treatment and played a vital role saving the lives. These people were the first volunteers of Red Cross. Most of them were women. Dunant wrote a book named A Memory of Salferino, about frightful and horrible sight of, of this war in 19, uh, sorry, 1862. The main message of this book was we can form such type of serving organization in every country who impartially will serve the wounded people irrespective to friends or foes. Jean Henry Donan formed a committee with four Geneva people on a 9th February 1863 which is familiar as Committee of Five. Changing this name, it becomes familiar in the name of International Red Cross Committee. In the same year, this committee called on an international conference held in Geneva with the representatives of 16 countries. In this conference, the best proposal of Dunant was accepted and for these results, Red Cross was established. Jean Henry Dunant was born in May 8, 1828 at the town of Geneva in Switzerland and died in October 30, 1910 at the age of 82. To show the honor to Dunant, his birthday on 8th May is observed as well for Red Cross and Red Crescent Day. So this is the background and history of Red Crescent or Red Cross. 
basic principles of international red crescent and red cross movements in 1965 at Vienna 20th International Red Cross and Red Crescent Conference, the following seven fundamental basic principles were accepted. So, there are seven basic fundamentals of Red Crescent Society and Red Cross Society. Number one, humanity. Helping the wounded in the battlefield without any discrimination. Number two, depersonalization. This movement helps wounded people irrespective to nation, race, religious belief and classes. Number three, impartiality. To achieve the confidence and faith of all, this movement does not support any team at the time of war. Number four, independence. This movement is impartial. In human servicing work, this organization helps the government according to the rules and resolution of the country number five volunteer service as a relief based volunteer organization this movement does not work for any interest number six unity every country will have only one red cross or red christian society its human serving activities will spread out countrywide and number seven universality Red Cross and Red Crescent is a worldwide universal movement which consists of the people of same status and responsibilities for helping people equally. Now it comes the Bangladesh Red Crescent Society. After the independence of Bangladesh in December 16, 1971, Bangladesh Red, Chris Red Cross Society was established as an associate organization of government relief organization. Under the ordinance of Honorable President on 21st March 1973, Red Cross Society was approved since 16 December 1971. International Red Cross Committee approved the Bangladesh Red Cross Society on 20 September 1973. At the same time, the Society acquired the membership of Contemporary League of Red Cross. Later on, on April 4, 1988, an amendment order was passed by the President and the name of Bangladesh Red Cross Society was changed to Bangladesh Red Crescent. The symbol of the Red Cross and Red Crescent. To get engaged in relief works in the battlefield with medical service of army and their equipment and security as an impartial and differential sign, Red Cross symbol was accepted. For establishing Red Cross and Red Christian movements and remarkable contribution to the wounded in the war from the Swedish citizen Jean Henry Dunant and his colleague to show honor to the state of Switzerland and opposite side of the national flag on white ground, Red Cross symbol was selected. At present, pharmacy, ambulance, hospital and doctors are being encouraged to use the following symbol, symbol with wide mass communication. Measurement of Red Crescent flag. In central position of a wide ground, a sea letter shaped red color half moon drawn crescent flag measurement is given below. The students, you can see a picture of Red Crescent map. Length of wide ground is 10 unit and wide 6 unit. Proportion of length wide is 10 is to 6, as same as our national flag. Number 2, the symbol of Red Crescent is 1 unit, which is to be drawn as 1 portion equal of 24 part of white ground. And number three, the symbol of Red Crescent is to be placed in the center of the white ground. Open side of half shaped moon, Red Crescent will remain at the opposite side of the flag, flag pole. So this is the measurement of the flag of Red Crescent. Now, importance of Bangladesh Red Crescent Society in human service. Red Cross is an international organization engaged in serving helpless people of the world. Now this organization is divided into two names, 
in Muslim world it is called Red Crescent and in other countries it is familiar at Red Cross their students this information is very much important for you in Muslim world this flag is known as or the society is known as Red Crescent Society and in other countries it is known as Red Cross its symbol is Muslim world in the Muslim world is the half shaped moon its main aim and purpose is to rescue and cooperate any type of natural disaster affected people were prisoners, wounded people of war, shelterless and sick people. Besides, its function includes preservation of blood bank, pure water, and arrangement of training about primary medical aid. This organization was awarded Nobel Prize in Peace in 1963. So we have learned about Red Crescent Society and Red Cross. The next lesson is first aid, that means primary treatment. The organs of the body means hands, legs, nose, ear, head, throat, etc. The knowledge of the first aid of those organs is essential for the students. Every person in any time may face an accident in practical life. To prevent this accident, everybody should know the idea of first aid. It is to learn knowledge about first aid to protect injury becoming worse before doctor comes. English meaning of Prathamik Chikitsha is first aid. First means Pratham and aid means help. Treatment given to an wounded person at first is called first aid. First aid is that type of scientific education which helps nursing the patient to save his life in any accident. Dr. Frederick Isam is the creator of first aid. He was a prominent surgeon of Germany. He thinks after any accident necessary steps should be taken first to patient before sending him to the doctor so that he his condition does not deteriorate. So first aid is the nursing given at once to the sudden injured person before doctor comes three main functions of first aid are there are three main functions number one identification of disease number two treatment and number three transfer number one identification of disease identification of the reason of illness number two treatment primary treatment for the patient so that his condition may not deteriorate before doctor's arrival number three transfer steps to transfer the patient as soon as possible to hospital or doctor or any secure place according to the condition of the accident care of wounded place when an injury occurs by knife scissors blade cutter etc and starts bleeding is called wound hitting by the hammer brick stone when bleeding occurs it is also called owned the animals bite, biting also causes owned besides boiling well or water may cause owned on skin or muscles when the body gets burned now first aid number one firstly it is to watch hand with antiseptic sorry this is wash Number two, try to stop bleeding with eyes or any other ways. Number three, to keep the patient stationary in lying position to reduce bleeding. Number four, to remove any loose foreign matters from wounded place. Number five, if any large thing enters into the wound, send him to doctor as soon as possible. And number six, wounded place is to be washed by the germ-free medicine and to be dressed properly. Now we'll learn the method of dressing. Keeping the wounded place free from germs or clean is called dressing. Piece of clean cloths, gauze, bandage, cotton, antiseptic, etc. are used for dressing. 
method of dressing at the time of dressing some points have to be followed the points are number one the patient on lying down that place will be at upward position number two a clean cloth to be placed under the wounded place number three first aider will take wash of his ha own hands that means the person who is giving first aid will wash his hands first injury place will be washed by the refined cotton number five surrounding area of the injury will be washed by detol or spirit number six at the time of washing firstly it is to wash from center so that dirt things may not enter the injury place number seven never touch the wounded place by hand number eight to place the wounded place by the gauze with ointment refined cotton antiseptic powder etc number nine tincture iodine tincture iodine spirit potash permanganate etc should not be used in the wounded area and number 10 first aider will keep some essential medicine scissor bandage gauze sterile cotton and first aid box in or her in his or her bag so these are the steps or points a first aider should remember now bandage now we will learn how to bandage the bandage is used to keep the dressing properly and injured limb firmly at the time of making bandage always keep in mind number one bandage can cover whole dressing number two binding of bandage should be neither tight nor loose number three the measurements of bandage is not more wide or thin than injured limb. Bandages are of different sizes. There should be specific size of bandage according to the injured limb. Number four, generally strong cloth bandage is good. And number five, in a special case, elastic crepe bandage is to be used. Three types of bandages. Now we will learn there are three types of bandages. Number one, triangular bandage. Number two, roller bandage. And number three, special bandage or multi tail bandage. Triangular bandage. This bandage is very often used in the first aid. A piece of rectangular cloth can be cut diagonally. It will be made triangular bandage. Its base will be measured 42 inches. It will be wise to take one meter cloth. Roller bandage. Generally, the roller bandage is used in hospital by experienced first aider. Roller bandage is of various sizes. Its width is one inches to six inches. Roller crab bandages is to be used when a player gets injury on the body. Multi tail bandage. Multi tail or many base bandages consist of many tails. It looks like T size. Hand bandage. Roller bandage is used in hand over dressing with movements of hand. After the end of dressing, the bandage is to be tightened by safety pin. How to make bandage over dressing by movement of hand is shown. Look, there is a picture of hand bandage. Now head bandage. If the head is on the head, skull, dressing of on that place is to be covered with triangular bandage moving around the head with bind on forget, forehead. Look here. This is a, a picture of a head bandage. Number one, the widest bandage is to be used on the head. Number two, the bandage starts first from forehead. Number three, the dressing will be covered by bandage with rolling slowly. Number four, making forehead bandage by means of rolling. Jaw bandage. T bandage is you is a special kind of bandage which has three wedges instead of two wedges. It is used especially on jaw, how to start and how to end bandage in jaw has also been demonstrated with picture. There are three pictures, look here, 
number one, <coughs> number two, and number three. The last lesson of this chapter, lesson seven, arm sling and collar and cuff sling. If any hard blow or any fracture involves any bone of the hand, the sling is used to keep that injured limb firm. The bandage which is used to hang the injured limb with the body is called sling. Arm sling, you can see a picture here. This is arm sling. The tied up bandage which is used to hang the whole arm is called small arm sling. Arm sling is required for hanging the front part of arm at easy position. Now spread out one part of triangular bandage on the shoulder, then it will be passed round the neck and brought toward the shoulder of injured limb and other end will hang in front of the chest. Then lay the injured arm on the center of the bandage. The top or vertex of the bandage will remain behind the elbow. Then the second end, end will be tied up with the first end of the bandage. The top side of the bandage will be folded up to the elbow. Then front part of the bandage will be attached with two safety pins. Collar and cuff sling. And this sling is used for hanging the wrist. Now bend the elbow in such a way that the fingers can touch the other shoulder. Hand will be kept on the other shoulder, uh, chest, then light up with a clove hitch. The last end of the bandage is tied with the last with this and it will be hanged in the neck. Look at the picture, collar and cuff sling is uh, shown in the pictures. There are two pictures and a hand is hung uh, around the neck. Clove hitch will be made with a narrow bandage. Make two loops, place second loop on the first, then bring the loop from behind the first one and make a clove hitch. Now fasten it with the neck, tightly passing down within the wrist. So this is the description of uh, making arm sling and collar and cuff sling. So my dear students, uh, that's all about the discussion from chapter number two, lesson three to seven. I think you will uh, study it at home, try to learn uh, the methods of first aid. This is very important for all of us to learn the methods of first aid and take uh, necessary preparations. And everyone should have a first aid box at, uh, box at your home. So take care of yourself. Uh, see you in the next class. Allah peace.